Today I will be talking to you about viral and bacterial diseases. Introduction. Many types of illnesses are caused by bacteria or viruses. Most bacteria related diseases can be cured with antibiotics. However, some strains are antibiotic resistant. Viruses hide inside cells and challenge the immune system. Now I will be describing two different types of diseases. So the first one is bubonic plague. Bacteria enter the lymph nodes. Some symptoms include fevers, chills, headache, headaches, weakness, and infection can spread. Yellow fever is an acute viral disease. Symptoms include headache, jaundice, muscle pain, vomiting, nausea, and fatigue. Causes. Bubonic plague is caused by a bacteria called Yersinia pestis. This infects um, wild, ro wild rodents and when fleas bite the rodents then bite humans, that is how the disease is transferred. This mostly occurs in Africa, but rarely it occurs in America. In yellow fever, in um, is caused by mosquitoes. There are three types of transmission cycles, the first one being urban yellow fever. Mosquitoes infected introduce the virus in heavily populated areas with lack of vaccinations. The second cycle is sylbatic or jungle yellow fever. Monkeys are infected and occasionally he passing humans who are visiting or working in the area are also affected. Intermediate yellow fever is caused by semi-domestic semi mosquitoes, which are found in the wild and in urban areas. They infect monkeys and people and it's the most common type of outbreak in Africa. Symptoms. Bubonic plague causes large painful lymph nodes called buboes. It takes two to seven days to show. Yellow fever. Many people do not experience symptoms, but may have fever, muscle pain, especially in the back, nausea, loss of appetite. These symptoms may disappear after three or four days. A small percentage enter the toxic phase or the second phase. Jaundice occurs and bleeding throughout the mouth, nose, and stomach. Kidneys and liver fail and the urine is dark. Most people will die after 7 to 10 days of this. Diagnosis. In bubonic plague, the only way it can be diagnosed if the bacteria Yersinia pestis is identified in a sample of blood or tissue. Yellow fever is hard to diagnose. It can be confused with other diseases such as malaria or viral hepatitis and poisoning. This can be done, this can be diagnosed with a blood test called RT, RT-PCR. Later stages um, can identify antibodies. Treatment. Bubonic plague can be treated with antibiotics such as cyperflexurin, cy cyproxr, and vibra vibramycin. Other types of treatment may be required such as oxygen, respiratory support, and meds for blood pressure. Yellow fever does not have an effective treatment yet. Statistics. <clears throat> we 
95% of bubonic plague occurs in Madagascar and Sub-Saharan Africa. However, there are rare cases in Southwestern America. There have been 1,000 to 2,000 cases reported every year. However, many are unreported as well. For yellow fever, there are 47 countries in Africa, 34 countries in Central America, and 13 countries in South America that are reported to have areas with yellow fever. Prevention. For bubonic plague, there is no vaccination available. However, reduced habitats for rodents in domestic areas and contact with wild rodents. Wear gloves when handling a potentially infected carcass. Wear bug repellent when outdoors to prevent being bitten by fleas. In yellow fever, there is a vaccination which is very cheap and inexpensive. A booster shot is not required and it works for 99% of people. So mosquito control is another way to prevent yellow fever and epidemic preparedness and response. The WHO says that every country at risk should have one national lab to do blood tests. One case in an unvaccinated population is considered an outbreak. The websites I used were betterhealth.vic.gov.au.inf and medicinenet.com and the WHO or the World Health Organization website.